recipe is bhindi ki sabzi. Bhindi is basically okra and sabzi is vegetable. So for this we need 300 grams of okra, frozen okra here. So I have got this frozen okra packet. It's around 300 grams. What I'll do is I'll open this packet. I'll place it in a colander, the okra. I'll rinse it and then I will use it for the recipe. Here I've got 200 grams of tomatoes. This is one large tomato. One teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. This Kashmiri red chili is not spicy. That's why I've taken one teaspoon. But if you use regular red chili powder, then you can use, use as per taste or half a teaspoon. Here I've got one teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, salt as per taste. I've got one and a half tablespoon of garlic paste mixed with half tablespoon of ginger paste and here I've got some cooking oil this is approximately four tablespoons so let's start making bhindi ki sabzi to a warm pan add cooking oil I'll add my ginger and garlic paste this is freshly brown ginger and garlic paste Give it a quick stir. Stir it for less than 30 seconds. Add in the tomatoes. And we'll cook these tomatoes till they're soft. And a little oil begins to float on the surface of these tomatoes. Right now my flame is on medium and I will be continuously stirring my tomatoes to avoid it from sticking to the bottom of my pan. While the tomatoes are cooking, I will add in my salt as well. What salt does is it helps in releasing the moisture from vegetables. So this will fasten the process of cooking these tomatoes. Tomatoes look soft and pulpy. This is a perfect time to add in the spices. So I'm adding in the Kashmiri red chili powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder. Now what I'll do is I'll give it a quick stir. You don't want the spices to burn on the bottom of your pan. And at this point of time, I'll immediately introduce my okra. I have used frozen okra. It's a little more convenient for me to use it. And because it's frozen, I rinsed it under the tap water. This saves me the time to chop the okra as well. At this point of time, you can lower the flame and let it saute on the lowest flame for the first two minutes, after which we will cover this okra and we'll cook it till the okra is soft. It's been two minutes since the okra has been cooking on a low flame and at this point of time I will cover this pan with a lid. Unfortunately when I bought this pan I did not get a lid with it so I'm just trying a lid from another pan. So this is a bit too small for this but my aim is to use a lid where uh, too much steam doesn't escape from the corners though it can escape from here that's fine but from the corners it should not escape. And I'll let it cook till it's done. Let's uncover. You can see our okra is all cooked and ready. The indication is when this okra really turns a bit green, dark green, then you know it's ready. So what I'll do is I'll just take a spoon and try to just press one through and you can see it's ready. It's easy. You can press through the okra 
यू कैन हैव दिस भेंडी की सब्जी विद रोटी पराठास और नान्स प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द बेल आईकॉन फॉर नोटिफिकेशन फॉर माई लेटेस्ट वीडियोज एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंजॉय